Amsterdam is a city of contrasts, one of Europe's great cultural centres. It's also notorious for its criminal underworld. No wonder that art detective Arthur Brand has made his home here. He's been dubbed the Indiana Jones of the art world, but he insists his work is closer to a less cool fictional investigator. If I would compare myself with somebody, it should be uh, Clouseau, Inspector Clouseau, because... A bit more successful than Clouseau. No, Clouseau has always been successful in the end, um, as I am. But the way to it, um, it's stumbling, it's following false leads, it's clumsy, it's everything happens. Three years ago, he tracked down a stolen Picasso. Eventually, it was given back to him by two underworld figures who turned up on his doorstep. Who can say he had on this exact wall a painting of Picasso worth 70 million for one night. And you did? I had one here for one night before handing it over. And I was watching it and money cannot buy that feeling. The detective couldn't resist buying replicas of the Picasso and another valuable painting he recovered. I decided to make some copies and enjoy the rest of my life. And I can afford these copies, so. Mr. Brand explained that he steps in when police can't crack a case. After two years, they have nothing and the prosecutor says, well, first of all, I didn't like these paintings, so let's stop, we have spent enough money. And then it's over, and then I come in. And then I look to the modus operandi, how did this theft occur, what did they do? What was their way of breaking in? Maybe that gives me a lead. And then I start asking around in the criminal underworld. The late Colombian drug lord Pablo Escobar is said to have left a huge art collection Arthur Brand says it does exist. It's the biggest museum in the world. It has everything. A lot of fakes too, because some people, some art dealers even thought it to be a good idea to trick Pablo Escobar. Was Pablo Escobar a genuine, knowledgeable art collector or was he simply laundering his money? Laundering his money. We always think of criminals of being some kind of people with no interest at all. You have them too. But there are some criminals who know exactly what they're talking about. A month ago, the detective recovered this gold ring. It once belonged to the playwright Oscar Wilde. It vanished 17 years ago from Oxford University. But it's thought the ring was stolen again during the notorious Hatton Garden safe deposit raid. It was handed over to us in front of Hatton Garden, exactly at that same spot, which is, of course, typical English humour. The Dutch detective believes he's on the verge of another big stolen art recovery, one he hopes to complete before his city's canals freeze over. Martin Brunt, Sky News, Amsterdam.